Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. The primary tool that you will use in Word is the ribbon. This object allows you to perform all of the commands available in the program. The ribbon is divided into tabs. Within these tabs are different groups of commands. The commands within each group can be accessed either through the use of buttons, boxes, or menus that are available within the group. Also note that for advanced options, or for users more familiar with the old dialog box functionality of Word, you can click the dialog box launcher button that appears in the lower right corner of some groups on the currently displayed or active tab within the ribbon in order to open a dialog box of options that are available for that group. You should also notice that you can double click on the active tab within the ribbon to both hide and show the contents of the ribbon. This can be a handy way to gain additional workspace while composing the text of the active document. You can simply click on the main tab shown in the ribbon to switch the groups displayed. The default tabs shown in the ribbon are File, Home, Insert, Design, Layout, References, Mailings, Review, and View. You can also enable the Developer tab if using macros or code within a document. In addition to the primary tabs that are available for you to use within Word, you will also see special contextual tabs that appear within the ribbon when you have a particular type of object selected in your document. You will see contextual tabs appear, for example, when you have either a picture, table, diagram, drawing, or chart selected within your document. The groups that then appear on these contextual tabs will be directly related to the type of object selected. You can make the contextual tabs disappear by clicking away from the selected object within the document. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.